So, like usual, when in a, ever asking somebody like the first question, it's always got to be sexual. So the first one that we got asked is, "What do you call oral?" Um, personally, I say getting head, or yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah, I, I, like, <laughs> like, I like gender neutral things. It's yeah. like uh, going down or getting head. Yeah, blowing. I say that. Like, I like. Yeah, that's those refer to it as getting a blowjob, I guess. Yeah, 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 definitely. it's the same, same thing in my mind. Yeah. Uh, do not like the term eating out. <laughs> I have always thought that was gross. Same. Even before I identified as male, I have always <laughs> thought that was a god-awful term. <laughs> um, but yeah, yes. that's, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, question number two. What do you call your junk? What do you call your junk, Sam? What do you call your junk? Again? Big Daddy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I call mine uh, probably dick or cock. I love the word cock. Yeah, do you? Yeah. But you usually when it... cock. Huh? <laughs> I love cock. <laughs> usually, when I catch myself talking about mine, I say, and I say dick most of the time. But definitely, um, male uh, terminology. What about you? I definitely just call it my dick. Yeah. yeah, and uh, there are many, many, many trans men or trans masculine identified people that are totally cool with other terminology like pussy or, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I'm not one of them. Yeah, they yeah, we're not, but that doesn't diminish their transness at all. You can call your junk whatever the fuck you want to call it's it. It's your you junk. Exactly. It's yes. your junk, your business. Yes. And, um, so yeah, uh... Pussy, no, not for me, no thank you. Um, clit, I don't like hearing that. No. It's a dick. It's a dick. It's a dick. Okay, it's literally clit. A dick. <laughs> it's literally a dick. We'll talk <laughs> about that another time, though. <laughs> yeah. Are all trans men only givers due to dysphoria? No. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. No. Uh, yeah, personally for me, a pre T, definitely, I, I, personally for me, I always was a giver because, yeah, I had a lot of bottom dysphoria. I didn't want anyone that touched me down there that's just not my cup of tea but after taking testosterone and having a difference down there i'm growing uh now i love receiving um yeah it's definitely a good time now it's very different from pre-t but i uh, i'm still a one I, i'm still a giver most of the time i'm a top i'm dominant i like doing that but i love receiving now too yeah how about you um yeah, I, I, same thing. Uh, before transitioning, I was definitely like a touch me not whatever. I know you never heard that term. But, no, I like it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was. That was definitely like the fucker, not the fucky. But uh, <laughs> now, like my my sex drive is through through the roof. I can't not not be touched like I, I have to have it or else it I get angry and <laughs> super irritable Rico knows when he, he knows when I haven't gotten in a few days I'm like super fucking angry all the time <laughs> um I, I'm also like I'm, I'm burst so I don't mind topping or bottoming I don't I don't care but. somebody asked for overall tips for cis folk dating a trans person for the first time um I think that it's all about communication. Uh, yes. That is the absolute most important thing. Even I, I'm in a trans and trans relationship. Like my my wife is male to fem female, and even with us, because yes, she she's experienced dysphoria. Um, she recently started her hormones um, about a month ago, and I've learned that our transitions, while they are similar, they are completely different. We had completely different effects and so it is very important to ask people what they're comfortable with um to ask people like what makes them feel dysphoric um what makes them feel sad or upset or what makes them not want to be touched or everything um ask them what they can like ask what you can do during sex or ask what they should mm -hmm. call your stuff or like yeah. whatever yeah it doesn't have to be like a super formal like deep briefing before you go into the dirty you no. know what i mean it could just like how i'd word it just be like 
maybe as you you know you're getting intimate or whatever just be like is this okay and like go slow if you're moving to a territory you're not sure you can't go in or um uh you, you can just be sexy about it. it doesn't have to be like so like cold it could be like so what do you like or you know what i mean yeah Stuff like that no, totally it doesn't have to be like a whole q a like what do you want me to call this where can i touch you where can't i touch you it's like um yeah just just go in knowing they're trans and Hopefully, with these videos, you're learning yeah, what might not be okay and what uh, is probably okay. Just, um, yeah, tread lightly, be delicate, but don't make it so awkward. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Being mindful that this person is going through a huge transition in their life. So being knowing that you're going to have to deal with a lot of changes, knowing that you're going to have to deal with a lot of their growth as well as your growth as you're learning what it's like to date a trans person mm -hmm. knowing that there's gonna be a lot of times where you're gonna run into new experiences at, for, from dating a trans person that you've never thought you'd have to go through and just being able to be patient with well, both parties being patient yeah definitely um with each other um yeah, patience and communication, definitely, mm -hmm. definitely the most two important things. And understanding, even if you don't understand it, just try, you know? Just try. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you nervous when you sleep with someone new? I have only been with technically two people since coming out as trans. Um, True. But <laughs> one doesn't count. Um, <laughs> and... The second person was my wife, and I i guess I was nervous, um, but she made me feel very comfortable, and she saw me as a man from the very beginning and treated me as such and never made me feel any kind of dysphoria with how we slept together. So I, I guess I was initially a little nervous, but I was instantly comforted by cool. her. Cool. Uh, let's see, am I nervous when I sleep with someone new? I mean, sh shit, I mean, yeah, anytime I sleep with someone new, there, of course there's gonna be some degree of me being nervous, but when it comes to m my body and being trans and sleeping with someone new, mm, I think where I'm at right now, I would only be hella nervous if it was with a gay boy, because that is like a whole different realm for me uh, which bathroom do you use i use the men's yep yeah, we're men we use the men's next we use the men's room. <laughs> um, have you had the surgery are you going to have the surgery uh there uh. are so many <laughs> surgeries and that, like that's literally not even a question like there are several surgeries that trans people can have and even more like than just like the ones that people know about like top surgery bottom surgery um uh, hysterectomies like there are so many things that mm -hmm. surgeries that trans people can have in order to make themselves feel more comfortable so it doesn't make sense to ask have you had the surgery it's like what is there a magic do it all like yeah Ooh. i wish <laughs> but yeah no for me personally that is the most common asked question like as soon as i come out to someone i get asked like are you gonna go through the whole thing are you gonna do it all and i'm like what does that even mean what do you mean like uh, everybody goes through <sighs> various stages some yeah. people will never have any surgeries and that's okay some people will only have top surgery some people will only do top surgery in a histo some people will get everything they'll get yeah. bottom surgery too some and will never be on hormones yeah and that's, and totally that's cool. okay like it's up to the person and you're mm -hmm. not allowed to make somebody feel uncomfortable with how much that they want to do yeah I think maybe cis people view uh, trans people as uh, maybe they're incomplete and that's why they think they have to ask, are you going to do the whole thing? You can be a trans man, never touch tea at all and still be a trans man that feels whole inside. We're not missing, you know what I mean? Like we're not like, we're not parts trying to like Frankenstein our shit together. And we're stuff, not a but Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> Yeah, that's cute. I've never heard that. <laughs> uh, how do you have sex? How do you have sex? <laughs> um, it, it depends on the day. It depends on what I'm feeling like that night. And 
Yeah. That that that's it. I I have sex in many different ways. If you continue to have same, sex the same way, it's just gonna get it's just gonna get fucking boring. So True. I like to switch it up, and that that's how I have sex. True. I make them sign ca- contracts, really. Contracts. Yeah. It sounds like that Fifty Shades of Grey kind of bullshit. Don't imagine that shit. Uh, no. That movie's awful. Yeah. But still. Anyways, no, I mean, come on, how do you have sex? Don't ask us that, it's weird. Unless you're interested in having sex with us, True. don't ask us how we have sex. Mm-hmm. Right? Rico is taking applications. Yes. <laughs> What's your real or old name? My real name is my chosen name. <laughs> I picked it all out all by myself. Like a big boy. Like a big old boy. <laughs> and I went down to the courts. And I gotta change so that this is my real name. I got an ID to prove it. That that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not okay to ask somebody what their dead name is. Mm-hmm. That's never, never, never yeah, okay. It's inappropriate. I feel like when people ask that, they're trying to find, uh, they're trying to picture this trans person as something they're not. Like for us, like they're trying to picture us like. Rico, what was Rico like as a girl? Okay, I'm gonna ask what his his girl name is because I want to picture this. It's like no, that's that's totally inappropriate. I am who I am, and uh, don't ask about my past. It's like really personal and it's very inappropriate. And even if we are not around, it's totally not okay to be like, do you know their real name? Do you know their real name? No, not cool. Are you still a lesbian, gay, or straight? Uh, I am not a lesbian. I actually, it's, my sexuality has changed a lot since starting team, mm-hmm. realizing that I was trans. Where? I was strictly only attracted to women before my transition, and now I'm attracted to everyone under the sea. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Everybody. Uh, I don't care. I'm totally pansexual. I'm a hearts not parts kind of guy. Uh-huh. And I, I you have like all these sayings people. I've never heard of. How do you, you never heard these? How Touch me not, not hearts not parts. Uh, <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. I, like, I like boys. I like girls. I like trans women. Um, I, I like some trans boys. I just I can't date anybody that's more masculine than I am. That's my biggest thing. Gotcha, and yeah. I won't, I won't compete with my partner. And if my partner tries to act like more masculine than me, then it's a total turn off. So yeah. I can't date trans men. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll take him. I love trans. Men. Rika loves each other. Um, I'm just like Sam. I'm queer. Um, yeah, hearts not parts. Mm-hmm. So that is it for C. Next week we have D in the ABCs of trans. We're gonna talk about dysphoria. It's gonna be a heavy week, y'all. All right, well, that's all. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We'll see you next week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, all that fun stuff. We'll see you next week. Bye. (laughs) Bye.